hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we are in my vehicle you may be asking yourself why are we here so a few weeks ago i was inspired by a real life event to do this video i was really running very late i had an event that i honestly completely forgot about that was during the day and i did not have any time to actually get ready in my house like in my actual beauty room i had to get ready in the car now luckily i was the passenger in the vehicle so i was able to kind of get ready as we were driving to the event but let me tell you it is not easy doing your makeup in the car and i know that's not a completely like unique experience i know a ton of people do their makeup in their car especially when they're um going to work or going to school or if you're just running late like me it's definitely a very common experience so i decided that i would show you guys the exact makeup look that i created on myself while i was in the car this is a makeup a look that is very much car friendly meaning all the products that I use really do have the environment that we're in in mind so I'm not using messy products I'm using products that are easy to use that are quick that are kind of foolproof and all the makeup that I use is also kind of like my sweat proof makeup because it was a daytime event so I had to kind of make sure that my makeup wouldn't sweat off my face it is so hot in this car right now so we're really going for authenticity in uh, so many different ways today we're in the car I'm already sweating from my upper lip so that's enough chit chatting I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy today's video I would love if you could let me know some of your on-the-go favorites when you have to get ready in a pinch in the car or like in a public bathroom whatever what are some products that you bring with you that you know are always going to do you good so without further ado Let's get started because I cannot last that long in here. First things first, SPF. I would like everybody to know that I'm being very, very good with my sunscreen and I have been putting it on every single day. So thank you, thank you, yes, yes, yay Jamie. It is a very important step in any makeup routine. I highly suggest that you do not skip it, especially if you're gonna be spending any time outside. Today, I am going to be using the Beauty Counter Counter Sun Mineral Sunscreen Stick. So the reason why I'm bringing a stick with me instead of just using a liquid sunscreen screen is just because I feel like it's a little bit less messy when you're in the car um, I kind of feel like the less uh, liquids you use the better because liquids could kind of just go everywhere so I'm kind of just putting it all over my face and then just massaging it in with my fingers so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit of moisturizer to my face. This is actually the new one from Lululemon from their new self-care line. If you did not know, Lululemon just released a lip balm, a moisturizer, a dry shampoo, and a deodorant. And I bought all of them to test them all out. I just thought it was really interesting that Lululemon came out with like skincare and beauty products. So obviously as soon as I found that out I wanted to try out everything they state that all their products are designed to solve sweaty problems not that this is supposed to like control your sweat or anything I just kind of figured it was appropriate to use in a look where I am kind of trying to reduce the amount of like movement from sweat as much as possible like I said I have only used it once so I don't really have my thoughts on it but it is nice so far I find that it does sit well underneath makeup and it's kind of just like a gel like texture it's very very lightweight it's not super super thick or creamy which is definitely what I prefer especially if I feel like I'm gonna be sweating a little bit I don't want to use products that are too thick or creamy because it's just going to make um, whatever makeup I put on top kind of slip and slide all around my face so a more gel like texture is definitely something that I prefer for a look like this so I'm just massaging that in super quick so for the foundation I am going to be using a stick because like I said it's just a little bit easier a little bit quicker and more mess free than using a liquid foundation so I'm going to be using my makeup forever ultra HD in the shade one two three so as far as brushes go I'm trying to use as few brushes as possible for a look like this but there are some brushes that are necessary so all the brushes that I included in this little makeup bag are all kind of like mini and travel size so they're super easy to carry around this is one of my favorite more like mini foundation brushes and it's from Hourglass. So to apply this, I'm just going to pick up the foundation onto the brush directly. Kind of just dab it all over my face and then blend it in like that just by kind of like tapping it and swiping it. I actually don't even have a hand mirror with me today. I'm going to be using this car mirror to apply all of my makeup. So adding to that authenticity once again, I kind of just want a sheer wash of coverage. I don't want anything too, too crazy, although I do have a little friend that popped up over there a few days ago, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more over that guy just to make him disappear. So for my concealer, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I've been loving this lately. It's been kind of my go-to. 
Um, I really like this because it lasts really, really well. It's not super emollient either, so it's not going to slip and slide on the face. I find that it sets down nicely with or without powder, although today we are definitely going to be using powder in order just to, you know, increase some longevity for the face. So I'm just going to be blending that out with the same foundation brush. It's really nice because it is super small, so it fits well underneath the eyes which is why I like it for on-the-go situations. And now to set all of that, I'm gonna be taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium. Now for the car or for on-the-go, I would definitely highly recommend using a pressed powder and not a loose one for obvious reasons. For the brush that I'm gonna be using, this is another really great travel-friendly brush. It is the Lila B Number no. 2 Bronzer Brush. So you can use this for bronzer, but I like to use this for powder. So I'm just going to pick up some of the powder with the brush and kind of just set just the center of my face with this and I'm underneath my eyes to just kind of set everything in place. So when I do want my face to be a little bit more long lasting, especially if I'm going to be in a sweatier situation, I do like to layer creams or liquids underneath powders because the powder is really just going to lock in a product and it's just going to ensure that it lasts a really long time. So I'm first going to go ahead and use my highlighter. I've been loving this highlighter lately. It is the Elia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just dot it where I want the product mostly just on the tops of my cheekbones and above my brow. And you could just blend that in with your fingers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take the same foundation brush and just pat that in. What I really like about this liquid highlighter is that it gives a really, really beautiful, very natural looking, glossy effect to the skin. It's super, super pretty. So I really love the way the highlighter looks on its own. Honestly, I would keep it this way, but because I am going to be hot and sweaty, I do want to lock it in with a little bit of powder. So I'm going to be using this new NARS palette throughout my face today. This is the Hot Nights palette. What I like about this is it kind of has everything all in one place. We're also going to be using this palette to do our eyes today. So we're not going to have to like jump around a lot of different products to actually finish the whole face, which is nice. I'm going to go into this big highlighter shade right here. Use that just to set that liquid in place. Oh my god, there's a mirror on this guy as well. I don't have to use my car mirror. Yay. Now I'm just going to very quickly bronze my face. I'm actually not going to put a cream bronzer first. I'm just going to go straight in with the powder. I'm just going to use this bronzer brush from Fenty. It's the 170. Going to take the bronzer shade from the palette. And then just going to go ahead and kind of wash that all over the face. Finishing off the face with a little bit of blush, I'm going to be using New 6 Poppy Girl. It's a really pretty kind of bright coral. I've been loving this. Again, I'm going to be using the same foundation brush that I've been using throughout my face just to kind of blend it in. So I actually forgot my powder blush, which happens. I mean, when you're on the go and you're packing your makeup bag really quickly, you're bound to potentially forget something, but that's totally okay. I'm kind of just going to leave it as is. These do last really well on their own. You don't have to set them with powder, so I'm not going to be like too, too worried or concerned about it. So the base is now completely done. If I wasn't talking to the camera, just doing this on my own probably would have taken two minutes max. So for the eyes, I am going to also be layering creams and powders on them as well, just so, you know, I'm really locking that color in and it's going to be really quick and easy to get a very impactful look with this technique. So I'm first going to go ahead and apply this Nude 6 Magnetic Matte Eye Color in Fig. It's a really nice, just warm brown. So I'm going to also make sure that I have my blending brush kind of at the ready. So I'm using my Morphe JH 35 for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swipe this all over my lid Not really bringing it past the crease though And then before it sets down I'm taking my brush and I'm just gonna blend along to kind of just diffuse the color a little bit It's really nice about these nude sticks cream eyeshadows is that they lock down on their own You do not need to set these with powder for them to actually last so if you wanted to just apply this blend it out with a brush and leave it you can totally do that you don't actually have to set it down it just works really really well also as an eyeshadow base so once i have that buffed out and you can see i did it really really easily i'm going to go back into the nars palette and i'm going to take this shade um right here this really nice kind of rosy pink and with my finger i'm just going to pat this all over my lid and this is kind of going to transform this color to be a really pretty almost like rose gold brown 
and it's just gonna add a really nice sheen. I just really, really love like kind of the shift and the finish that this eyeshadow gives the cream product. I just feel like it makes it look, I don't know, like you put a little bit more effort into your makeup than you really did, which is kind of the whole point. You wanna do as little as possible to get the best and biggest effect. So that is my favorite way to do it. So I always like to spray my face with my setting spray before applying my mascara just in case the setting spray makes my mascara move or smudge in any way. I just feel like it's a safer bet. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my favorite, favorite setting spray when I am in any type of sweaty situation. I do actually feel like it makes a big difference in the longevity of my makeup. This is the little mini travel size version, which of course is what I put in my makeup bag. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. It's also so refreshing and much needed. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna put mascara only on my upper lashes. This is, of course, my Ilia Limitless Mascara in After Midnight, my current favorite mascara. And I'm just gonna put it on my upper because since we're gonna be sweating, even though this does last well on the lower lashes, I don't wanna chance it. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit more wet than it normally is, so I don't wanna risk any extra transfer if I don't have to. So just the upper lashes it is. Oh my God. It's so hot. This glow on my face right now is like 70% sweat. I'm not gonna lie. So for the brows, for me personally, I could get away with just applying a fibery uh, thickening brow gel and I'll be good to go. I know that's not the case for everybody, but um, you know, if I'm gonna save time anywhere, it will be on my brows because I can just run this through and my brows will be good to go and they'll still look, you know, done and groomed and f somewhat filled in, which is what I want. So I'm just taking my Glossier Boy Brow and running it through. So for the lips, I always feel like if you want to make it look like you put a little bit more effort into your makeup, put on a lip that has a little bit more color to it than just like, you know, a lip balm. So I am going to be taking my Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in the shade 102. This is actually a matte shade. It's a really, really vibrant pink. I'm not going to be applying it full on, but I am going to like kind of dab it on my lips to create almost like a stain like effect. Just that just gives like the prettiest wash of color to the lips. I think it's so nice, especially paired with the eyes. But I am gonna apply a little bit of gloss on top. This is just the La Neige Lip Glowy Balm and Pear, which is just clear, just because I love me a good gloss. And it's also really nice and hydrating. Makeup is all done. Besides the makeup, I always like to bring a little mini travel size perfume with me wherever I go. Um, no matter where I am or what I'm doing or how much time I have, I need to smell good. This one over here is the Byretto Sundays Eau de Parfum. Um, this is pretty much like summer in a little bottle. Also, because I am a tattooed woman, I do like to make sure that my tattoos always look nice and moisturized and vibrant, so I always carry around like a body balm with me. This one is from Beauty Counter, and this is the Melting Body Balm in Manoy, and this also smells like summer in a tube. It has like a very tropical scent to it. It kind of adds to the overall scent vibe that we already have going on, <laughs> so I really, really like it. It smells so freaking delicious, so I just massage that on both of my arms, of course. Um, but concentrating it mostly for the tattoo to make it look nice and just fresh. And that, my friends, completes the whole entire look. This is definitely nothing groundbreaking. It's a look you've probably seen a thousand times before, but I really just want to show you guys the products that I personally like to use in moments and times like these when, honestly, I feel like it's the most relatable. A lot of us experience running late and having to get ready really quickly in a car, and, you know, it's not just, like, putting on mascara and lip balm. You want to do almost, like, a full face of makeup, and that just looks really beautiful with no compromises. That is the goal, and I feel like... We achieved it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed watching me sweat to death in my car without air conditioning in 30 degree weather. My Canadian blood cannot handle this heat. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.